What's up guys, OBF back here, back again with another Vans review. Today I got the Dymo Knee, colorway is Harry Suede Black True White. These are size 13 and retail on these was 70. So I just picked these up from my local van store. This is one of the newer releases. I guess these dropped a couple weeks back now. Uh, as far as I've seen, it's available in four colorways and it seems to be that two of them are only online, two colorways are in-store only, as far as van stores go. Um, all of them featuring this Harry suede. And I think this shoe really caught my eye just because of, I guess, the mystery behind it. They didn't really tell us anything about this drop or like this, this style. Um, so it kind of just ended up on the shelves and I was wondering like what what's the, the deal behind these or what's the idea? Why are these more premium than some of the other releases uh, that have been coming out? And these aren't labeled as DX or anything like that. So uh, I wasn't really expecting this to be anything different. But as you can see, these do have some Ultra Kush light insoles. So they're like the thinner Ultra Kush insoles, not the pro ones. Um, also, obviously the Harry Suede. This is actually some pretty premium Harry Suede. Uh, Harry Suede's one of my favorite materials and it rarely gets seen on a pair of GRs, so thought that was pretty cool. But really just a silhouette, like what's the idea behind this, this old school looking model here? Um, and I actually did a little research on it. It turns out that this was a silhouette that got dropped uh, back in the mid 90s, I think like 95-ish. And originally this style had three stripes or two or three stripes on the back that were going the opposite direction here. Um, and kind of wrapped around the heel. There was this little cutout right here, like a diamond shape. And um, as you can see, they kind of revamped it, took out the stripes, uh, changed the little diamond cutout back here to just this uh, solid piece around. Kind of has like a, a mustache or it looks like where the mustache would have been on the back here. And the shoe's just pretty deconstructed overall. Uh, another thing that I noticed they added to this newer version of the shoe is the gusseted tongue. So as so you can see, it is connected to the side of the shoe, which is another thing that kind of caught me off guard and made me think about these, like what, what's the idea behind these? I, I thought they were surf shoes, but it turns out they're not surf shoes either. So yeah, just kind of a weird uh, style that Vans just dropped here. And apparently, according to their website, it's a part of like a archival revival thing that they're trying to do but not really much else is known about it so i don't know if this is the first of many styles that they're gonna uh, bring back into play i know that they have the the lamp in which they've dropped some grs for as well as the native american uh the the high top so we are starting to see a couple of these old uh, models resurface as grs it's pretty cool but yeah, this one, I, I don't know, I just thought it was strange, thought it was really cool. Really dug the colorway and the materials on this one. The other color that they had in store was a like a lavender color, a really light purplish blue. Um, I don't remember exactly what the name was on it, but it was, uh, it was pretty cool, but definitely more of like a, a summer shoe, I guess. So this one seems to be a better all around shoe, uh, you know, wear all year long. Got the white, true white midsole here with the black foxing. I probably would have liked to seen this just have a solid foxing without the stripe. And then of course, if you threw that off-white midsole on there, it would have just been uh, an extra premium touch to add to these. You do have a white outsole here, which is a little unique, especially with the GR. You don't really get uh, very many colored outsoles. It seems like everything that's been dropping is out of gum outsole, so that's kind of cool. You also have the off the wall skateboard on the heel in black. And as described on the box, the upper of this is supposed to be a black. So it is kind of like a pirate black. It's got like that grayish hue to it. It really just looks like a worn down, I guess, charcoalish color, uh, but very cool. You got your Vans flag on the side in white with the black Vans logo. Eyelets are just punched in there and another premium touch was the wax laces. So thought that was pretty cool There are some little details on the stitching Really hard to see on this one, but it does kind of have like the old-school bounce thing here. So 
that's kind of like a nod to the old school. You can see it better on this side. There's also this little stitch right down the middle of the tongue. Once again, hard to see with the hairy suede, but that really gives off some like taco vibes. And as far as the toe box goes, you can see it, it kind of does resemble old school, except old school would just like cut across like this. So it does go up a little bit higher there. It's kind of like a deconstructed old school in a sense. Even the back here, I guess if you really wanted to, you could just fold this down and make it a surf shoe. I'm not sure if this is the purpose of this like weird um, little patch back here, but totally an option. These guys do fit true to size. Um, those insoles, as I just showed you guys, are removable, so you can take these out, swap them with uh, some like Dr. Scholl's if you need to or whatever you gotta do. On the inside here, you have like this micro fabric. Uh, feels really soft. And that's about it. Originally, by the way, I totally forgot to mention the shoe. The one that dropped back in the 90s was actually just called the, the Dymo. There was no knee on it, so I'm assuming the knee is like version two or I, I don't know what um they were trying to do with that still have no idea what dymo knee means um but if you guys have any knowledge about these shoes or the older versions uh please let me know in the comments down below i would love to uh, find out more about these so you guys can find this colorway and that like lavender colorway on or at your local van store there's also online i think there's like a maroonish color it might be purple and a orange colorway, all featuring the hairy suede. Uh, so there you have it, hope you guys enjoyed the review and be sure to stay tuned for the on feet.